Hello and welcome guys, my name is Frank, I'm a musician, photographer here in the Midwest and this is a tutorial on how to add text to your video using PowerDirector on mobile for Android. Alright, so I'm going to assume that you already have PowerDirector app installed on your phone and so the first thing we're going to do is launch PowerDirector. So here we go. Thanks again for checking out my first tutorial on how to do transitions and cut video into scenes. Uh, all your feedback is very welcome. So let's get started. Here we are at the home screen, the beginning. Let's go with a new project. And like once again, if you filmed with the widescreen, 16 by 9 is going to be your aspect ratio. If you filmed in the portrait mode, then you want to do 9 by 16. So let's add the title. And this will be how to add text to your video. All right, so now that we've got our title, we're just going to 16 by 9 aspect ratio, tap OK. We have a brand new timeline. And let's go into your video so I'm assuming you already have your video on your phone and for me it's an open camera so we're gonna use the scene right here let's click tap on that tap on the plus button it's gonna add it to your timeline alright so what you wanna do to add text is right now your clip is on the timeline it's not highlighted so you're gonna get these options if, it, if you highlight it those options go away and you're going to get these options. So here you can add more clips or music. Here are some effects, but what we want to do is we want to see, see this little double icon right in the middle. You want to tap that. Once you tap that, you have the option. So you can add your title, that's your text, image, or sticker. So for the sake of the tutorial here, we're just going to do title. So when you hit title, as you can see, you have a wide array of options, right? So you can have animated titles. So and if you see each one of these, it's showing you what they do. You can have a lot of different effects on here. And, uh, you know, for the tutorial, let's just keep it very simple. So why don't we just tap on this one here, hit the plus button, and now it adds it to your video. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so you can see the title there. All right, so how do we edit our title? We can just tap on it. Once again, it gives you some directions here. Title designer, remove from the timeline. So I'm showing you, so this is what we're gonna do. So now you can see the title is now highlighted. And uh, you see if we tap on it, see what happens, that comes up. The keyboard comes up and now you can add your own text so you can just remove that one and just add whatever you want so let's just say um, for the sake of the tutorial we'll just say summer summer day okay we hit okay now you see it just turned the text into summer day now if you wanted to edit it some more like if you wanted it to be bigger you are just gonna tap on one of the corners and you can make it bigger you can make it smaller or you can tap on it and move it around see that and you're moving it around for the sake of the tutorial just make it nice and big like that now if you wanted to change the font you can tap on this and you see now that you have the title highlighted now you it changes so now you got title design you can do a duplicate so if you want to add another text to it you can just hit duplicate let's just hit duplicate and see what happens so now you can see with duplicate it added another title to it it's the same one it's just duplicating it uh, and then let's go into the title designer and see what that looks like all right here's the title designer now, as you can see it gives you the font face so it means the color of your face so if you wanted to change it you wanted a red pink orange whatever color you want you can change it you even have this little color wheel here that you can scroll to make it a different color see what's happening there okay 
and then you also have a font or you can highlight it so let's say you want to tap on this and see uh, what you want a border around it you can give it a border see that you have a big border around it or you can give it a shadow let's give it a shadow too so you gotta tap on this and then it gives you the shadow and you can adjust the distance of the shadow from your text however you want to do it uh, you can also do a fill shadow like that so now it looks kind of 3d so see that it gives you this 3d looking title all right but for the sake of the tutorial let's just turn that off turn that off and uh, let's keep it uh, let's keep it a different color let's make it uh, white all right and then you can do things like make it bold and make it italic let's click on click that so you can do quite a lot of things and if you tap on see where it says font it says font if you tap on that it gives you an option of different fonts that you can use right so if you wanted to give it a different look these are the fonts that it comes with so you can make it look different you know so let's uh let's just pick one of these and see what they look like so uh let's pick how about this one here see that it's like a summer day like that and we we'll go back to the editor title editor all right I mean maybe we can change the font now to like a I don't know something like, let's keep it white like that all right guys so that's how you add text obviously you can do a bunch of different things um, it's very helpful uh, you can even uh, make it uh, change the opacity of it you see that you can change the opacity of the text with that slider right there so if you wanted to add your own little watermark to your videos as I often do uh, you can just change the opacity so it's just kind of off into the you know it's not completely but obviously I'm just showing you not showing you a watermark I'm showing you text uh, but that's how you do that alright guys I hope you found this tutorial helpful let me know if you enjoy this uh, did this help you out if it did please uh, give me a comment let me know that it uh, it all worked out for you and that it's uh if you got any more questions you want to learn how to do some of this stuff uh let me do let me know and i'll be happy to help you all right i'll see you on the next one bye bye